Hey everyone, this is Benjamin here. In this video, I'm going to be teaching you how to make a book design inside of Canva. And afterwards, we'll create a mock-up version of it so that everything is just going to look professional. So let's dive straight into it. Before we get started, I just want you to know that I want this tutorial to be so interactive. So just in case you have any questions as you are watching this video, kindly leave it in the comment section below. And if you are new, make sure to smash the subscribe button so that you do not miss any of my future videos. So let's jump straight into it and let's get started. So one of the important things you need when creating an ebook design is a good cover design and after you create it, coming up with a good mockup design helps you to sell your book easily online. So this means sticking to the end of this video will teach you all the necessary things you need to know on how to make a very good design to help you sell your ebooks easily. So let's get started by jumping straight into Canva. Okay, so this is my Canva. The first thing I'm going to do is to click on create a design and I'll just search for A4, okay, because, um, you know, A4 document is actually actually one of the simple ways to it's actually the basic dimension to create your ebooks okay so what i'm going to do is this particular ebook cover design i'm going to be making is for a product i'm coming up with which contains a lot of photo descriptions so stay tuned and make sure you do not miss out on that okay so what i'm just going to do is to be creating an ebook cover design for it you understand so i'm going to take you through the entire process so that you can also be able to do the same anytime you create an ebook okay so let's dive into it so now that we have a canvas set and everything is ready for us to rock and roll what i'm going to do is i'll just simply come to element okay and element i'll just scroll down okay to frames and i'll just choose grid and the thing is when creating an ebook design you have to make sure that whatever you have on your cover design already gives people the idea of whatever is contained inside your ebook so make sure whatever you have on your cover design is sending out an idea of what can be obtained when your ebook is bought okay so don't forget that one okay so i would just create something simple like this because it has to do with a lot of photo descriptions which means we are just actually going to find a lot of photos using these descriptions so i just want to communicate that okay okay so i would position this here and position this here and you know there can be so many designs over here so you can see i just want four to be able to fit here so let me duplicate this and position this one here then maybe i can select or and increase the size okay then maybe this one can also go inside more let me increase it okay so then i can duplicate position this here duplicate and maybe position this one here you know i hope you get the whole idea behind what i'm trying to do so maybe let me just push this here and let me just push this one also over here okay you know, maybe this one should actually go up and this should go up here then we drag it all the way down okay so i wanted to cover at least um half of the entire dimension so i can just copy all of this and position this here then i can just do a lot of adjustments over here depending on how i want everything to look so you can see we have something cool like this okay so the next thing i'm going to do is to be filling all the frames in here with photos and i may skip this part of it because i don't want this video to be so long okay so let's dive and see what i have done so you can see this is what i've been able to do i had to remove some of the frames and then um, actually had to adjust some of them so that everything can look compact and um, and compelling as well okay so the next thing i'm going to do is to add my text over here so i'll just simply press t on my keyboard okay and i will just you know first of all change this to poppins extra bold okay so once it's change i can increase the size and i can just say maybe 70 plus okay then increase the size and maybe click away so that i can move this over here okay so maybe let me just add the margin okay show margin so that everything can be looking very good and i duplicate put it here so 70 plus um photo okay then i would increase it this way duplicate this again and just say description okay so then i increase all of this and position this one here okay everything should be matching nicely let me just align them you know all to the left so that we can easily arrange them beautifully okay then select everything we have here and reduce the size okay so you can see how everything is looking at the moment so what i'm going to do next is i'm just going to change the color because i don't want to use a black i would actually prefer this purple okay so i think this way this purple looks good to me so i will just do this and um yeah i think it looks good 
what do you think about it let me know in the comment section okay then i'm just going to add some few things over here just to elaborate more on what you can expect okay so what i'll do is i'll come into element in element i'll just go into shapes okay line and shapes click on see all and um, we are going to be looking for some outlined uh, shapes over here okay so we'll use this one okay and um, i'll just drop it here i'll come to outline choose the you know this outline for it okay and change the color to the same color over here and with the fill color we have over here i'll change it to white okay so that we can have something like this then i'll stretch this one out duplicate this text over here and i'm just going to change it from extra bold to any type of poppins maybe poppins you know the regular poppins we have over here i'll reduce the size and let me zoom in more and position this one here and reduce it more okay so over here i can say something like um for canva free and pro okay so for canva free or pro which means that you can use this even if you're on the free version of canva or even on the pro version of canva okay maybe i can select all and reduce the size more this looks very light so i can increase the thickness by making it bold okay and then um, just do all the necessary alignment then duplicate it bring this here and i can say high quality images or high res okay high res images then i will just trim this here and you know squeeze this one here and basically this is what we have been able to do so let me just align this quickly okay so i select everything and align it here and yes this is what we currently have at the moment so the next thing i want us to be able to do is to create the mockup version of it so this is why mockups are important usually when you create a design mockups helps your audience to be able to have you know a visual representation of how your design or how things are going to look like in your life you understand so if it's a book creating a mock-up of your design using the book or using a book helps people to understand that oh, okay so even if they were to get the hard copy of it this is how the whole thing is going to look like so it's just simply sending out a visual representation of a design on how it's going to be used in the real world so that's what mock-ups is all about so the tool we are actually going to be using to create our mock-up is media modifier and the reason why i'm choosing media modifier is the number of professional mockups they have is just mind-blowing and the other thing is it's so easy to create mockups in them adjust things you know you have 100 percent flexibility when it comes to that so let's just dive back and let's continue quickly because i don't want to waste your time okay so i would first of all download my design okay so come here png which is good because it's going to be um, very quality and i just click on download now i just have to choose where i want to save it at so maybe i'll just save it into my downloads folder and um, that's not the right thing to do you actually have to create a folder for all your designs and save them there but for the sake of this tutorial <laughs> yeah so i'll just you know minimize that and open my browser okay and in here we are we have media modifier so i'll first of all just log in quickly so i just choose login with google and you'd actually need an account for media modifier to be able to use all your stuff so i just use this so you'd actually need an account you know to be able to use media modifier so you can see we have so many professional mockups we have over here so if i come to mockups i come to mockup generator you know there are so many mockups so many mockups trust me you you would actually love their mockups and you can see how easy it is to apply mockups you know from here you can see so what i'm going to do is to search for book so i just come here and search for book and while media modifier searches for i want to use i just want to let you know that to use media modifier i have a link in the description that will help you to sign up and start using media modifier today because look when it comes to mockups i always and always use media modifier and if you've been following me for some time now you realize that almost every product i have on my stand store has some sort of mockups and every single mockup was generated from media modifier okay so we search for book and you can see there's so many books we have over here okay so i just have to choose the one which suits whatever i want to do this one actually looks very slim and um, i think instead of this because it's going to be like a very simple ebook i'll go for the slim type instead yeah so i think this one is the perfect one for my design okay so i just have to allow media modifier to load okay so it's fully loaded and all the options to be able to edit the mockup is found here okay so what you have to look for is your 
image so i just click on add your design okay and um, it should open click on upload your image okay then i should be given the option to choose my design so i come to my downloads and i will just search for the one i use so you can see very easy and very simple i'll click on crop and everything should be created for me so you can see how the whole thing is looking right now okay so with the other things if you don't want a background color maybe you want it transparent you can just toggle it on or off if you want it on you can also change the color from here okay so you, i just don't want it i just want to turn it off because i'm going to import this back into canva okay so just looking very nice you know the shadow you can adjust almost anything you want over here okay so i come to download and i come to download image and um, you can also save the mockup you can see from here you can publish to social media you can just do so many things over here so now that we've done all of that the next thing we are going to do is to come back into canva upload our mockup in there and create a very clean design out of it so let's jump back into canva so i would just come here and click on let me just close this one up and then just search for presentation okay because we want a wider dimension for this okay so allow everything to load then i'll just come into upload and upload i'll come to upload files okay then go back here click on it so that i can just upload it inside of canva so you can see how beautiful it is if i click to add it this is the design and it's already looking very beautiful okay so i may position it here i can also change the background color you know to any color i want you know it depends on what you actually are looking for so maybe i'll make it lighter you know something light like this which is very cool uh increase you know the design like this and i'll just put some text over here okay so i press still on my keyboard position my text here so what i can say is find pro images like a you know um i'll add another word which is a magician okay so i'll just put this here and i'll just align it this way select or come to line space and reduce the line spacing okay and i'll change it from canvas sounds to popping because i'm using poppins over here so i'll use poppins here and i'll increase the size drag this one in and maybe just click or and duplicate it position it here and i can just say magician okay so magic shan magic cyan <laughs> okay so i would increase the size to like this and i'll just change the color all the, the way to poppins extra bold okay so you can see how things are looking right now so i'll increase the size of this select all of them and change the color to the same purple kind of color we used then maybe if there are some extra stuff i want to add something like this i can put them here so i just come here select these two things you have over here select these two copy come back here and paste it over here you know sometimes you just need to copy and paste instead of redoing things from scratch okay now increase the size a little bit okay so this is how it looks then i can maybe add a button sort of so i can press r on my keyboard so i'll drag my square shape here come to the border styling increase the rounding of it okay and just shape it nicely and um, you can position it here okay i think as we reduce the size of it you know it's not looking funny so i would okay this looks okay to me Oh my goodness i have to <laughs> this looks funny though but you can see what i'm just trying to do okay so i'll stretch it out duplicate this i can just say get yours now okay so i would reduce it stretch it out like this you know basically just arrange things like this and select this drag it here squeeze this one down a little bit and i'm going to actually make this one rather the purple and the text should be white okay so this is how everything is actually going to look like so let me just give some spacing over here so i drop this one down and this is what we have been able to make so you can see it's gone to down so i increase it a little bit and i'm um, just trying to get everything looking sweet inside of canvas so i increase this a little bit drag this one here and yes so maybe let me reduce this a little bit uh, you know at the end of the day you just need to do some adjustments and all that okay to make your design look sweet and clean so yeah this is what we have been able to make inside of canva and i hope you enjoyed all the things we've been able to do from creating the cover design to moving into media modifier to create you know the whole mock-up of it coming back into canva to create the entire flyer we are going to send out to people 
so that they can buy our e-product. So I hope you found it helpful. If you're looking for more Canva tutorials like this, there are two things I want you to do. If you're already a fan, kindly support this video by hitting on the like button. If you are new to my channel, kindly hit on the subscribe button because that's the only way you can join the family and also you wouldn't miss any of my future uploads. The name is Benjamin, always remember there is no limit to creativity, I should see you in my next video.